hello 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 everyone thank you for joining me as always your presence is appreciated so today I will be reviewing the book called long live the cartel by Ashley and Jaquavius so I don't have the actual book I listened to the audiobook version this is the last or most recent book of this series now I will tell you it is an absolute must that you go check out this couple they are well they were I don't know if they currently are but they were a couple and they have written a series together and when I say this series is outstanding, believe me, it is outstanding. So, this is the most recent book in that series. And yes, I have read every single one of the prior books. And this one does not disappoint. So, let's go ahead and get into this book review. Um, the patriarchs of the family are gone and the family left behind have gone about their separate lives until now. The Diamond family comes together again after the death of a loved one. Carter Jr. has become a high profile boxer. Mo has continued the family legacy of running the streets, just not at the level of his predecessors. Mo is hungry for power and wants to be on top at any means necessary. Mia Moore is pulling strings um, from her jail cell, okay? Breezy, one of the last standing from the prior generation, has been tucked away raising her daughter, Aurora. The death of the family member brings what's left of the Diamond Cartel and the Murder Mamas back together. And they are out for blood. This is the start of another era that will rain down on Miami. The rules of the game have changed and no one is beyond their reach. The Diamonds have some generational seated beefs slash resentments within the family that have continued with the next generation. Greed, envy, tug of war for power have not escaped the next generation. The backbiting and unauthorized maneuvers have gotten the family back into the drug slash street life. Something that can't be undone. The only way out is death. Ashley and Jaquavius have done it again. And if you cannot tell, I am very excited about this because I love this book series. Um, this is another long awaited layer to the Diamond Cartel series. If you have not read the previous books, I strongly implore you to do so. The way these two have woven together the story is like unmatched in my opinion. I mean, it's thrilling. Like every book is like give me more it, it is really like a, a literature drug <laughs> okay um well i guess the only disappointing thing is that the book ends and you're left craving for another dosage um this time was no different and the ending leaves you wanting the next book very badly okay so Ashley and Jaquavius, if you are out there, please, 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 please 
write the next installment of this book so we can get our fix okay um this book uh doesn't have what i would call gruesome details <laughs> like in their prior books um this was a little bit milder on the violence and the description of violence um this book gave you just enough to know what was going down but um it, it wasn't up chuck worthy gruesomeness okay so um this book kind of felt like the wind up for the next generational phase of books that I just cannot wait for. Um, let, let me give an association. If you like the show Power, this series of books is in that category of street life drama um so if you like power you're gonna love these books it's it's not like these books are not connected to power but that's just an association if, if you like the tv series power um you'll definitely love this book series um, in my opinion, this series is better than Power. I wish they would make the Diamond Cartel a TV series and stay true to the book. And I could almost bet a paycheck that it would be a hit. It, it has to become a TV show. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think the authors are holding on to that creative license, and whoa, it's 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 good though. It 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 would be a very good TV show. Um, it the book series is too fantastic to be cut short into a movie, so it has to be a TV show because. This thing could go on like for forever and I would watch every bit of it. I have listened to the audio version of all the books. Um, Carrie Height is the narrator of the previous books in the series. And um, L. Stevens, L. Steven Taylor is the narrator for this current book. Um, I will tell you the narrators are sensational. Um, they bring the words to an imaginary level that is that I just absolutely love. Um, they kind of bring the, the, the vibe, they bring the, the swag, they bring the like attitude in the book out and it just makes you sink that much deeper into the story uh, and I can't obviously rave enough about this series I think whenever someone asks me for a um, <laughs> book suggestion um, I tend to give them this book series if they are into uh, this kind of genre I will definitely suggest this book series off top I mean that comes off top off top so that tells you how good this series is so check it out for yourself um, I'm sure you will not d be disappointed if you're disappointed I want to know why you're disappointed because I can't see where you would be disappointed if this is a genre that you typically read. Um, I definitely give it a 5 out of 5. If I could give it a 25, I would. If I can give it a 100, I would. But I've been rating them on a 1 to 5 basis. So <laughs> it's definitely a number 5. Um, so subscribe, click like, click share. If you've read the book, comment your thoughts. And until next time, keep turning the pages, my book lovers.